Hey everyone, product stream just happened, but like always, we always start off with the JP ban list and what has changed. So, only standard changes. This is coming into effect in like just over a week, April 1. So, pretty crazy. And uh, you can see that a lot of the big decks that are out there right now uh, have been here. That's basically Luad and Shiranui. So, let's kind of just go through them. No changes in Mia and Premium because, well, to be honest, JP doesn't really play that. Maybe there'll be changes later for English, but at least for... Now, um, this is what's going to be changing. So first off, there is a choice restrict between Shirinui Obodo and Drag Veda. So OT and this Shirinui restrict. Uh, and then Selgeon and a Luad restrict. So pretty much the top two decks in the format. Um, and to be fair, like I'll, I'll, I'll go into it a bit more deeper because there's more to this list. There was an unrestrict though. So you can now, basically the Willista combo, right? The Cycler and the, uh, the Willista draw card. Got unrestricted, so you can play like full power Willista. There is also another change too. So, PR, they say if you run a stride deck, right, basically, you cannot change any bit of your ride line anymore. So before you could, you know, change the grade two, you only had to run the grade zero, one, and three, but now you also have to run the grade two, right? So that's actually a big nerf, especially to uh, Shirinui, simply because they did not run this. They did not run, uh, I think it was like, was it, was it for our game? Well, basically the grade two, this dude, this dude, right? Uh, they, they ran Shuja Doji, and Shuja Doji was, you know, gave the deck a lot of extra oomph, especially at the grade 2 uh, line, where you could bully other stride decks with a Shuja Doji name, and then run Shuja Doji support that lets you kind of push more cards. Uh, that's gone out, you don't get that. And furthermore, then these cards as well, so uh, I, I guess the, the change here is that they don't like it when you're on, you know, um, on your stride, and you trigger, you attack twice, and you trigger your... Dragon Empire OT, and now instead of getting like five attacks or seven attacks, you now get nine attacks, and one of them's like massive big. You get three vanguards, you get two vanguard swings, and stuff like that. I guess they don't like that, right? So the high roll of Shirinui is gone. Um, so you won't, you, they'll have to play a normal OT. I think maybe it's a, maybe Drag Vader just two OP, you know? Maybe they should maybe do something about that. But yeah, so the high roll for Shirinui is gone. The low, the low end, the, the early game for Shirinui is gone. They literally went from the best grade two game uh, stride to like, like zero grade two gaming, right? They're, they're basically not doing anything until stride. So that's kind of like a strange place for it to be. Uh, and then Luad, I personally, I did kind of see this coming. I didn't make a video on, you know, the ban list this this time just because I don't know I just got lazy. Uh, but yeah, I th this is one thing that kind of you know I, I was thinking about a lot, and it's not just like Selgeon with Luad, but Selgeon in general, because a lot of the Keta decks are running this heavy you know early game order lineup with the uh, I think it's a the uh, Thay felt something like that the, the Grey two generic that just, just calls cause it's it's the nice looking girl right. But uh, the combo with that, with the Minerva order, and then the like the dog order from you know BT, I think BT the, the faded clash set, uh, all those kind of order lines with the Selgeon just make a really strong early game engine, um, and you can just base it's so generic you can put it in every single Keta deck, right? Well, basically a lot of Keta decks. So I was thinking you know that maybe that's too strong. They kind of see that Selgeon is probably just too strong here, not just uh, in the early game, but also like the you know. Any game when you want to just call out a Selgeon with the uh, with the Luad, so they hit that. So the early game for Luad is is nerf, but it's now better in my opinion than Shirinui. So I don't really think it's the end of the world for for Luad. If you look at the English results, right, a lot of people are still running that early game, um, the early game uh, order build without Selgeon, right? Because we don't have it, we don't have that, and it's doing okay. So I feel like, you know, Luad will be fine. It still has like a... It can kind of still do its game plan, albeit, of course, it's weaker, right? And Shirinui did... I feel I feel like this, this is actually a pretty big nerf to Shirinui. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's a pretty big nerf. Uh, but time will tell, right? Time will tell. It's not like it's a bad deck anymore. I just feel like... It, it still gets like seven attacks. Let's be real, right? It still gets seven attacks. But it's not like you don't get the super high roll. And you have to play like legit now in the other game. You don't get to go like ride Shoujo Doji call it Isosuro, and then that calls another free card for you. You do try lane immediately for free, and then just, like, you know, push your opponent, like, angry damage in the early game. No, no more of that. They have to play honest now. Um, which might make them more su susceptible to, like, early game push, like Vargas, um, like Raziels when they run, like, Keta builds, like, that, that Keta Rush kind of build kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. I feel like the format is better, right? It's just it's better. I, I, I see a lot of Doom posting, people saying Shinoi didn't get hit at all. I think that's wrong, but we'll see. We'll see, right? 
Uh, next we do have, uh, just, I guess it's kind of anime spoilers. We'll just kind of go through the rest of the key points of the stream, uh, when it comes to all the Vanguard stuff. So, uh, Hikari, right, she also has a, a, a faded, uh, thingamajig, a faded card. Uh, she's about, apparently, uh, should I just spoil it, right? She's like a time traveler, uh, but this is like the adult version of it. So, you know, she travels through time, blah, blah, blah. She's the faded one of time, I think. So, uh, this is actually coming out in... This uh, BT2, so this is the upcoming set, which is crazy, right? And she also gets this super, super like DSR card as well. So yeah, this, this was probably the surprise of the day in that like this is coming out so soon. We don't even know the effect of it, but I'm pretty sure we'll find it out soon, right? Uh, and then also they are doing some like, you know, special energy cards because this is how you can bling out your deck now. You know how one piece is of these dons, you know, foil manners. Foil lands and all that. Now you have foil energy, right? Look at this. All of the, all of that you can collect. It. This one will probably be uh, two billion dollars, right? You need ten to like max straight your deck out. Pretty crazy. Uh, but then also they announced Dayusha is the encounter card for uh, set three, right? And I think a lot of people were going, "Wow, this font looks very familiar." Are they actually going to do Dayusha? And the answer is yes. So Dayusha is coming out soon, right? In set three. Uh, and with the boys, right? With all the boys, your good, your good Goyusha friends. You got the the Ray. Is it a car? Is it a car? You got a weird tank. You got the weird tank. Um, you got the legs, right? This is like the, the feet when they combine. You know, because it's, it's what it looks like. And then you got the the die dragon, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's all coming out soon. Was it the lyrical set coming out? So this one, uh, this one looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. You know, lyrical set. This this reminds me of that powerful support card. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But they're basically, they're giving up dress up support to all the uh, set three, lyrical set three ride lines. So you know, you see Letitia, you see Michu, uh, you see everyone else, right? I think this is Hazelit, <laughs> and this is Kyoka, uh, Mediol, and who is this one? The, the, the giant girl. I actually just don't know what the giant is. It. I just, I just don't know who the giant girl is. They're all getting dress ups, right? And they look like, uh, I guess it actually looks like proper dresses, which is crazy. Right, it's actually crazy. Uh, but I think the other surprise of the day is Vanguard is coming into Shadowverse. So there's a big Shadowverse collab with Vanguard. Um, and uh, yeah, it's if you like Vanguard and Shadowverse, well, you get to play the best of both worlds. If you were escaping Vanguard by playing Shadowverse, then you're screwed because Vanguard is coming to Shadowverse. Yeah, uh, basically what's happening is that there's just a collab set. Uh, with this, you can run like the Vanguard cards in their specific, you know, crafts. So if, like, Blaster Blade, he's a sword craft guy, you run into a sword deck. But then you can, if you just play a pure Vanguard deck, you can just run all the clans together, right? It'll be like BTO1 all over again. Um, this is, the, they've got some interesting cards here. So, you know, you know the, the starters, I guess? This is like a, a way back, there were like four runners. So now you get these start amulets, which are basically those four runners. And they basically do things. They start off at the beating. I think if, if you're playing a Vanguard deck, right? At the beginning of the fight, they're just out there face down. So it's just like Vanguard, right? And you flip it face up, just like Vanguard. Um, and they all kind of have effects. So it's kind of like, um, they, they, like they, you rest it and they blow themselves up to do an effect, which is like, it's just like the old stuff. Like, like you remember Conro, right? We have, I think we have a Conro. Is, is Conro coming? We'll see. Uh, there's a few more cards. Like, like they haven't shown these, uh, these blaster blades, but they have like drive checks as well, right? Drive checks, you get these extra drive points, which is interesting. And um, they'll probably, they'll, they'll definitely talk more about this later, right? Because they are going to introduce it. The box art looks insane, right? The box art looks insane. It actually looks really good, yeah. And it's basically going to be, you, they're going to have pre cons for this as well. Basically, going to be focused from like set one to I think like mid limit break or end of limit break. Um, and yeah, so so there it is, right? There it is. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, and then they have some, you know, crazy cool prize cards as well. These are from the Vanguard Zero Arts, if you've been paying attention. Uh, and then here is, well, they'll talk about it more on the Tuesday stream. And here's, uh, here's Alfred. Remember Alfred, right? It's crazy, crazy. Looks so old. <laughs> uh, but here, here we go. We have, Con we have Conroe as well. Um, and the Conroe is just like... It's actually pretty good. So this this Wingle Brave. So you act and you put I think put it to the grave, and you draw a card and then you uh, discard a card from your hand, and then you can only use this to have a raw paladin fall. So you, you, basically a hand filter. The Conroe though is like you pick one of your opponent's uh, followers and you just deal one damage, and then of course it's the same thing you put into the bin. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Some other sleeves I think these are sleeves. 
uh, that you get when you when you go to some of these places. I think Divangasai and here in Divangasai they, they did reveal the, the drive points. So this was I I think it was blacked out. And here's pretty much just the clans that are coming out. So we got Shadow Paladin as like Abyss. Uh, we got Oracle Think Tank as Haven. I think this makes sense. Kaguru as Dragon, of course. Uh, and then we got Wingo, uh, Royal Paladin as the Sword. And then Pale Moon as Runecraft. They pick Pale Moon? And then Aqua Force as Forest. <laughs> I, I guess... Yeah, it's like... I feel like... It's great nature. doesn't really fit. You know, because... I mean, they're animals, but they're in university, right? And then Mega Coin? But I guess, like, they're just not known, right? They're just not known. So... Yeah, those are those are pretty much the choices. Uh, I, I guess like Aquaforce. I guess when you look, when you think about these, right? Aquaforce and uh, and Pale Moon are actually really popular. They're actually really popular as well. Uh, and then you know they're all pretty popular. Let's be real. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Can't wait to see what will happen if this will come out in English or not. Right? Big, big news. Like pro probably really insane news. Didn't didn't expect this at all. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you all think. Like, what do you think of this collab? What do you think of the ban list? These are this is just pretty much the, the quick points that uh, came out today. And now I think we're just going to wait for the English ban list at least. Just to see what happens on our end. I'm not sure that if anything will happen to be fair. Because our stride decks just came out. Um, so we might be just playing more Ashurnui versus the world. Right? That's it. Let me know what you guys think. See you all next time. Alright, bye.